hello everyone you're welcome to my channel you're welcome to decent stitch if you're a new subscriber or returning subscriber you're welcome please kindly like share comment subscribe please subscribe and click the notification bell thank you my required measurements are shoulder divided by 2 plus sewing allowance is 0 0.5 plus ease allowance is 0 0.5 ammo depth plus sewing allowance is 0 0.5 plus 1 inch for my shoulder slope or slant ammo length divided by 2 plus side seam allowance 1 inch plus ease allowance is 0 0.5 bust point length plus sewing allowance is 0 0.5 bust divided by 4 plus side seam allowance 1 inch plus ease allowance is 0 0.5 waist length plus seam allowance is 0 0.5 waist divided by 4 plus that allowance 1 inch plus side seam allowance 1 inch plus ease allowance is 0 0.5 bust apart divided by 2 jacket length plus seam allowance is 0.5 plus m allowance 1 inch hip divided by 4 plus size seam allowance 1 inch plus ease allowance is 0.5 neck width minus sewing allowance is 0.5 neck depth for front neck depth for back note ease allowance is optional i usually take fitted body measurements when i'm measuring my clients so i need to hard ease but if you always take loose body measurements when taking your clients then you don't need to hard ease allowance to make my double breasted jacket I'm going to leave 5 inches up here and I'm, I'm going to leave about 10 inches in front here This is going to be my shoulder line. And this is going to be my center front. It's not going to be on full this time around. From my shoulder line, I'm going to get my ammo depth line. That is 7.5 inches. From the shoulder line, I'm going to get my bust point length line. My bust point length is 11 inches. Now I'm going to get my waist length. That is 18.5 inches. Finally, I'm going to get my jacket length that is 27.5 inches.
I'm going to connect my dots now. I'm going to get my neck weight for my front. That is 2.5. My neck depth for my front is 3 inches. I'm going to draw a round neckline here. I'm making a small size. I'm making for size 10. That's why I'm using 2.5. If you're making from size 16 and above, you can use 3 inches as your neck width. If not, it's going to be too tight for the person. If the bust of the person is around 42 to 48, thereabouts, you can use 3 inches as your neck width. But I'm using 2.5 inches the bust of the person I'm making for is 36 inches from the center line I'm going to get my shoulder 8.25 inches I'll mark the same 8.25 on my ammo depth line I need to label my line this is my ammo depth line this is my bust point line This is the waist length line and this is the jacket length line. Now I'm going to connect the line, the shoulder that I marked earlier. Let's connect the line. I'll be slanting my shoulder by one inch. From the neck width, I'll draw a line to the one inch I marked. I'm going to get the midpoint from the slanted shoulder to the ammo depth line. This is 6.5. The midpoint is 3.25 inches. From the midpoint, I'm going to measure 0.5 inwards because this is a jacket. I want to use 0.5. I'm going to use my French curve to draw my ammo line. Now I'm going to measure my bust on the bust point length line. The bust is 10.625 inches. I'm going to measure my waist on this line. My waist is 10.125 inches. Then I'm going to measure my hip on this line my hip is 11 inches I'm going to connect the dots by the side because I don't want the cover is sharp I'll go up by 0 0.5 come down by 0 0.5 inches then connect to this line and draw it straight up I don't like to bend my ruler this way 
I like to draw it straight up. Follow the line. Here I won't be using my ruler. I'll be using the French curve. I'll be I'll be connecting the hip measurements to the waist area. I'll use my hand to blend in my curve because of the half inch I brought up and down because I don't want a sharp point there. Now I'm going to get my bust apart to draw my dart. My bust apart is 3.5 inches. I measure the same 3.5 on the waist and on the jacket length line. My dart for the front starts one inch below the bust points and ends three inches before my jacket length line. Because this is free hand, I need to consider my M allowance. So I'm going to measure three inches before my jacket length line. Now I'm going to draw from the one inch below my bust point to the waist, dot on the waist and then to the dot that is three inches before my jacket length line. My waist dart is one inch. I'm going to put 0.5 on this side of the line and 0.5 on this other side. Then draw my darts. The ammo length I have here is 9 inches. The ammo length I need is 10 inches. Because I want is I don't want the ammo to be the same with that of a normal blouse because it's a jacket. So I'm going to make it 10 inches. Ordinarily this is fine for a normal blouse or dress. The way I adjust my arm O, I don't increase the side line. In the case where I need my arm O to be smaller, let's assume this is bigger than what I need and I need it smaller. I'm going to go up by, I'll go up by 0.5 or 1 depending on how small I want it. Then I'll assume my line is above that line and measure. This is about 8 inches. Let's assume I need 8 inches. I go up and draw another curve. From the midpoint, I draw another curve and balance it back. That is the way I adjust my ammo. In this case, I need it bigger. So I'm going to come down to make it bigger. From the midpoint here, I'm going to draw another line. Then I'm going to confirm it. I came down by 0 0.5 so I'm going to confirm it's still small this is like 9.5 I'll come down by another 0 0.5 in total I've come down by 1 inch now then draw my curve I'm going to confirm it Now I have 10 inches. This is how I adjust my arm O. The next thing I'm going to do now, I'm going to get my side darts. Please, this side is optional. 
you can leave it this way I'm using 1.5 as the size of my side that I'm using 1.5 inches I'll divide it into two that is 0 0.75 I'll put 0.75 up here and 0.75 down here From my bust point, I'm going to measure 1.5. My side that starts 1.5 before my bust point or apex. You can use 2 inches if the person is big, but for this size, 1.5 is okay. Your dart does not have to be exactly where I put mine, you can bring it down a bit. Even if you bring it down, it should always point towards the boss point or apex. I'm going to fold the middle of the dart, the center line which is my boss point line. I'll hold it down at the tip of the dart then fold it down in this case my line is perfect if my line was not properly aligned I'll use a ruler to balance it let's say the line is not going to meet after folding my dart I'll take a ruler and draw a straight line to correct that. Then open it and connect that part so that when I sew my dart, my side will always be straight and the line will balance back. In case your own line is not balancing back, they are not missing, you draw a new line that connects ear to ear, open it. And connect it also please decide that is very very optional you can skip that part because it's a double breasted jacket when it crosses I want it to come towards the darts when it crosses to the other side I want it to end around the dart area and my bust apart is 3.5 I'll add half to it that is 4 inches you can use your exact bust apart or you add 0 0.5 to it here I'm going to get my break point which is where my lapel stops I want my lapel to stop in between my bust point and my waistline I have about seven and a half. I can use four inches. From my bust line, I can measure four inches. That is where my break point is going to be. The four inches I measured in front, I'm going to draw the line. Then I'll connect it to my break point. I'll draw it down there too. This is for the jackets to cross. This is my break point. I'm going to measure one inch here. From that one inch I marked there, I'm going to connect it to my break point, the extended line. Then extend it up. I 
I'm going to mark four inches here. The extended line is going to be four inches. I'm going to use my set square to get a right angle. I'm going to write it rest on that line and draw another line. I'll do the same at my break points. I'll let it rest on this line and then draw another line there. In the absence of a set square, if you don't have one, you can use two rulers. I'll show you that. I'm going to put a ruler on this line let it rest well then take the second ruler let the tip rest on the first ruler make sure there is no space in between the two then draw the line on the other side I'll do the same let the, the other ruler rest on the first ruler perfectly Now I'm going to measure 3.5 inches. You can make it 4 if you want your color a little bit bigger. But 3.5 is fine. I'll connect the dots. Here is my center back. I'm going to draw a curve here, a light curve. The short color has different variation. You can have a small curve here to have a big lapel, but I want my lapel to be pointed, so I'm, I'll be. I'm using a light curve for mine. From around the neck depth area, I'll start drawing from around the neck depth. I'll draw a light curve down into my break point. I'll make sure the curve blend well into the line. Now I'm ready to cut it out. Remember you can do this direct on your fabric. In case you are not getting the side that for front and back, the way I'm doing it, you can leave out the side that. I'm going to cut the first line because my line they meet here they are, is okay. I only use the other line to explain if your own is not meeting but I'll be cutting the first line. This is my front piece. I'm going to cut two pieces of this. I'll also draw my 
straight grain meaning I'm going to place my paper this way my straight grain is going to be parallel to the edge of my fabric thanks for watching I hope you enjoyed this tutorial please kindly like share comment subscribe if you're new here and click the notification bell thank you